Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to uh, run your uh, Spark job which is developed using uh, Scala API which is uh, Spark uh, with the Scala job using uh, Apache Airflow. So we know Apache Airflow is the workflow management tool or scheduling management tool. So using that you can run various type of jobs in Apache Airflow. Okay, so in this video, let's uh, uh, understand uh, uh, simple uh, uh, Apache Spark and Scala project, which is going to read the data from the uh, MySQL database and write the data from the MySQL table, another table, from one table to another table. It's a simple job. So the idea is to understand how this can be run using a uh, Apache Airflow. Let's get started. So I'm opening my virtual machine, which is actually having a uh, all the software installed spark apache airflow and uh, uh, even programming language like python scala everything installed my uh, vm if you want this my vm you can just uh, send us a request using uh, my uh, uh, blog called uh, uh, datasciencewiki.com you can log on to the website data uh, datasciencewiki.com and you can send us the request to get the uh, virtual machine and also we have a project to three projects developed using uh, spark you can also get it from us okay um, so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to show you the uh, the scala project uh, scala with the spark project which is actually uh, uh, if you see it's the uh, uh, same template we are following created the package and we imported the necessary package for the spark uh, scala api then we created a uh, scala object class which is uh, uh, read from uh, uh, write read from write to mysql table okay so we create a spark session object uh, then uh, all the uh, uh, mysql table was defined so i'm going to read it from the table called orders demo let me show you the table there is a table called uh, uh, what is that okay there is a table called orders uh, uh, demo we have two rows okay so the two orders uh, data is captured here one is using mastercard and uh, visa card so we are moving from orders demo to orders uh, uh, demo history there's a table same it has same schema we want to insert this is a simple uh, flow we just want to give you clear understanding of how this can be done using a creating a dag file in the apache airflow and run the same sorry if i my throat i have a little bit of cold uh, then uh, um, so let me complete the remaining part of the program and then we form the jdbc url and we are going to read it from the spark session object dot read dot format of jdbc and in option you give the mysql details and dot load this will load the uh, table so basically what you are given is uh, the query is just a select star from the table which is uh, orders demo so we are taking the all the data from the table and making it a data frame this data frame we are going to write it into another table called uh, orders demo history okay there is a data frame so we which we got it earlier step orders to data df we are writing uh, dot this is all uh, just uh, capturing the table name the target table name which is the orders uh, demo history and uh, the uh, properties object you set the driver class username password of the mysql uh, with that information we are going to write orders data df dot write mode of append dot jdbc we pass the mysql details so which is going to write the data from this data frame to the uh, table called uh, orders demo uh, uh, history okay this is a simple program and we are going to write uh, uh, this uh, what is this uh, uh, <coughs> the important uh, dag file apache airflow dag file in this dag file we just imported the uh, uh, we know the simple uh, simple uh, five step process which is importing the packages and uh, define your uh, operators right you need to de first you need to default parameters uh, get the default parameters like uh, what is the who is the owner and what is the start time other stuff and then create a dag object which which takes the dag id and the default parameters and the schedule interval so basically the i am trying to schedule every one minute and we need to define a task or operators one is a for python simple python operator i'm using just for uh, uh, sake of making a dependency uh, so, so just to run and uh, uh, to show you that and so uh, 
one is uh, uh, just printing the message in the using the python object python function which is uh, created as a uh, python operator okay where you pass the task id any operator you give the instance of operator uh, or you create a task uh, operator or task are uh, uh, just same or just once you create a operator instance then it becomes a task so you give the pass the task id and also you pass the function which you are going to call on this operator and uh, or this is belong to which uh, dag so you need to specify that so a uh, python operator defined we need to define the important one is the spark uh, submit operator which is going to take the again task id which i given as spark scala job spark submit task and tag name is the same tag uh, dag name and sparks configuration we need to define so what are the configuration you need to define this is a uh, simple configuration like uh, spark yarn uh, map uh, max attempt uh, max app attempt is 1 and uh, uh, the executor override memory is 512 this is very important which is you need to specify the jar name in jar name as well as the class name where you have a main method okay so our main method is in the class called uh, 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 class called read from and write to mysql table that's what i given which fully qualified class name which is uh, package name dot the class name that's what i provided in the java class property and in the next application property you need to provide the entire uh, path of the jar okay so how do you build a jar uh, from your uh, sbds project you just in the command line just type uh, on uh, navigate to this folder where you have this uh, files and type uh, sbd clean package which will generate the jar something like this something like this so you take this path and provide it in the uh, the application property then as usual driver memory uh, executor score number of executors executor memory now and you already created the spark uh, submit operator just provide the uh, spark configuration and dag name uh, dag object name then your spark uh, spark operator is ready uh, now we need to set the dependency uh, so basically i'm setting python after python operator uh, the downstream uh task as a spark operator okay and then in the main uh, uh, um, in the uh, uh, execution of uh, the the uh, starting program start point of the program i just say dag.cli which is going to run into this dag definition file in the cli okay so once i define this i'll just go and uh, uh, move it to the uh, the dag default folder <coughs> which is uh, uh, your own folder of airflow slash dags i just copy that okay now i will open i already started the dag web server airflow uh, web servers and scheduler i will log on to this uh, uh, airflow admin uh, airflow admin dashboard okay so uh, let me check the uh, run spark uh, uh, run spark scala uh, job i switch on this uh, 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 workflow or uh, the dag and i will start this so it's asking are you sure want to run this uh, a job yes this. so it is going to start running uh, running the uh, dag okay so let's see uh, how it is scheduled okay so let me let us click this i'm opening the dag file so if you look at here uh, the table let's uh, check the tables just for understanding go here here so there is no uh, ic table populated uh, till now so it is running this let's go to the graphical uh, graph view of the tag so i think python uh, uh, operator is run now it is going to run the uh, spark submit operator let's wait for some time so anyway i kept the uh, just to see the result uh, quickly i just kept the spark submit uh, uh, operator as every uh, to run this every dag every for one minute so you will see the uh, just to generally this will load we don't schedule it at a very shorter interval like one minute So it's based on use case again, but uh, generally, uh, 
this will be a longer time the batch jobs will be long, longer time so meaning maybe uh, five minutes or three minutes or something like that one minute is very rare generally if you have a very shorter uh, scheduling duration you go as a uh, spark streaming uh, structure streaming applications um you can actually always watch my other videos in my channel which has all the spark related uh, uh, tutorial and also three project implementation of uh, spark in my youtube channel data making you can watch those okay let's again refresh this okay so tree view okay again i'll go to the dag uh, uh, list i'll check is there completed uh, jobs i mean completed task okay there are six uh, task which is completed okay so uh, out of the two times uh, the spark submit job is completed so let's go and verify the output so one time it has come uh, it's showing see the history ec table is populating now i think the other one is say to populate okay yeah so this way you can actually execute your uh, uh, scala spark project using apache airflow um, um, i hope this video is helpful for you i'm trying to show you the uh, next run result it is still loading uh, see it has come so two times it ran so four records has come because we have a orders demo table with uh, two record so um, i hope you understand so we had a, a scala spark project which we ran using a uh, apache airflow by defining the dag definition uh, file okay and we schedule it in the dag flow okay uh, i hope this video is helpful for you uh, please subscribe to my channel data making and uh, click on this bell button to get notification whenever new orders please provide your suggestions and query i am happy to help you see you in the next video friends